Hey everyone, I'm gonna be making purple sweet potato puree. Went to the store today, wanted to make some mashed potatoes for the kids. Saw the purple potatoes, sweet potatoes. I'm gonna make these instead. Very easy, peel them, I just cut them. Look at that color inside, that intense purple. And I'm gonna be making a dish today, chicken fried steak. I'm testing some recipes out for some upcoming classes that I'm having. So I've got some uh, chicken fried steak, and instead of with gravy, and instead of regular mashed potatoes, I'm gonna do some purple sweet potatoes. Kids love it, so why not give it to them? One thing that I do, sweet potato, peel it, put it in salted water, cold water, and also very important, equal size, uniform size. That means they're all gonna cook at the same time. And of course, being, uh, being a chef trained, potatoes are gonna be good, but I will be putting a lot of cream and butter. To me, there's like no other way to make mashed potatoes. So here you go, medium-sized pot. Medium-sized pot, the potatoes. Gonna salt it nicely. About a teaspoon, a teaspoon and a half. Then you're gonna, we're gonna put it on the stove, bring it up to a boil, 15 minutes. We're gonna test it, right, good to go. 15 minutes have gone by. Potatoes, you can see it's blue water right now, purple water. We wanna test it out. You can, I'll get like a slotted spoon, paring knife, poke it inside. No resistance, it's done. You know, grab a rag, strain it over a colander. I'm gonna put it back in that same pot, right? Easy cleanup, plus it's still hot. I wanna dry out the potatoes just a little bit. Turn off the heat. Grab the potatoes, put them back. Okay. On the stove, I'm gonna put it back at medium heat just to dry it out just a little bit. And right here, the pot I got right here, of course, it's cream. What I like to do when I make potatoes, hot cream and cold butter combined together. So I got my spatula here, just wanna dry it out just a little bit. Got a couple of techniques that I'm gonna show you today that the way that I like it done. So right now, drying up, the milk came to a boil, to a simmer as you can see. So now what I do, I'm just gonna add a little bit of the cream at a time. Not all at once, just a little bit. And here I have some dice butter, cube butter, whatever you call it. I'm gonna add some of the cold butter to the potatoes. Not all of it, just a little bit. I, I, I probably added about two, table, uh, about two ounces, about four tablespoons of butter right there. Look at that color. And if you're wondering why I'm using a spatula, because I have a, I have a tip that I'm going to show you in, in, a, in a few minutes. If you want to follow me on Facebook, it's Chef Rafael Gonzalez. And on Instagram, it's chef.rafael.gonzalez. You get all more tips, and you can see any upcoming classes I may have. I'm going to add a little bit more cream. We're gonna season at the end also, we're gonna season more salt at the end. I kinda of like for my mashed potatoes to be soft and creamy. That's why I like it not too stiff. I'm gonna add a touch more butter. As I said, I like the cream and butter in potatoes. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it to the cutting board in the counter. I have a bigger bowl, but I have like a tammy or a sieve or just a regular strainer. I'm gonna use that to put the potatoes through there. That way it comes out extremely creamy and smooth, no lumps. So here, the potatoes are right here. I got a bowl with a sieve, colander, strainer. I'm gonna put the potatoes in there just like that. I'm 
Then with a rubber spatula, heavy duty rubber spatula, just go back and forth, back and forth. Look at that, it all comes out beautifully smooth. All of it in one shot. So there you go. You have right here, sweet purple potato puree. If you like this video and want to learn some more, please subscribe to my channel and give me some thumbs up.